today's video we're going to be looking at all 17 Diary of a Wimpy Kid books and ranking them. So before we start, make sure to click that subscribe button, why don't you? And without further ado, let's get into this video. Number 17, The Ugly Truth. I just hate that, hated this as a book. I read through the whole thing. I read through all of them. And this one, it just was the worst for me. So yeah, just hated it. <laughs> On to the next one. Let's go. Number 16, Double Down. I really felt like Jeff Kenny was trying to get a book out there um, to the public and just, you know, get a book out there. And it kind of felt like he was running out of ideas. Really bland book. Didn't really like it. Yeah. yeah. On to the next book. Let's go. Number 15 on the ranking list, um, The Getaway. I mean, it's done. Be it's been done before in the series, you know, it, and it, you know, it's, it just feels like it's been done over and over, right? So it wasn't that great. On to the next one. <coughs> Let's go. Number fourteen. Number fourteen on the ranking list. The Deep End. Um, it was all right, but just wasn't that great. You know, don't have much to say about it. Yet again, it was another, you know, vacation trip. So you know, been done before. Kind of boring. Kind of getting over it. <coughs> On to the next one. Let's go. Number 13. Number 13 on the ranking list. Diaper Overload. Uh, there was a lot of Roderick in this one, and he's one of my favourite characters, but I just felt like there was maybe a little bit too much. Um, it was good, but not great, so yeah. <laughs> on to the next one. Let's go. Number 12. Number 12 on the ranking list. Number 12 on the ranking list. Big shot. You know, it was nice to see... Um, Greg go into sports, his mum signed him up for sports, had to do sports, and it was nice to see him go through that and not be great at it, um, but yeah, great book, but you know, it was a good book. <coughs> on to the next one, number 11 on the ranking list, Wrecking Ball. It was a good book, I like to see them smash down a house in the book and build a house back up again. It was entertaining. This book was entertaining. That's what I have to say. So, yeah. This book, number 11 on the ranking list. Um, great book. <coughs> on to the next one. Number 10. Number 10 on the ranking list, The Meltdown. It was good. It was um, a good, but not much to say about this, but the, the snowball fight at the end was totally awesome. Recommend reading it. It was a good book. <coughs> on to the next one. Number nine on the ranking list, The Long Haul. Um, it was a good book, um, but it wasn't a great movie because they recast everyone. Don't want to go into that. But this was a good, and it was nice seeing the Heffleys have to suffer with each other in a car in a t confined space. It was really good. I enjoyed that book. So, yeah. <coughs> on to the next one. Number eight on the ranking list. I felt like this was good because it gave a bit of backstory. There was a it's just a tiny bit of education in there, not much. Um, it was a good one, great. It was, it was just great. It was good. Um, but yeah, <laughs> on to the next one. Let's go. Number seven. Number seven on the ranking list. Hard luck. It was a good book, more of a home-based book, which I liked. And uh, yeah, good book. <laughs> on to the next one. Number six on the ranking list. Cabin Fever. I did like um, Greg taking care of the doll in this one. I also liked um, how they were in the house together and the Heffleys were trying to figure out activities to do together that because um, they couldn't leave the house. So, yeah, it was a good good book. Um, yeah. <coughs> on to the next one. Let's go. Number five on the ranking list, The Third Wheel. The Third Wheel was good. Um, I did like Greg trying to find a girlfriend but failing miserably because that is what Diary of a Wimpy Kid does. And um, that's, you know, I, I did like to see him put in this effort, all this effort, and then fail miserably because that, that's what Diary of a Wimpy Kid is all about, clearly. He's a wimpy kid. Yeah, great book. <coughs> on to the next one. Number four, The Last Straw. Thought it was great. Um, lots of Greg's dad and him signing and forcing him to go into military school. Thought it was great. <coughs> on to the next one. Let's go. Number three on the ranking list is the original, the one that brought us the entire series, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, yeah, this is a good book. It described well on what you go through when you go into middle school. It's really realistic. Um, but yeah, great book. 
Um, yeah, do recommend reading it. <coughs> on to the next one. Number two on the ranking list is Roderick Rules. I really think that this was a great um, book because it really showed the bond between the two brothers. You know, they did that fake slime thing. And um, it was quite fun to see them bond. So, yeah, great book. <coughs> on to the final one. Number one, the best in my opinion, Die of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. I just love the way that this book gave off summer vibes for me. You know, he got he had he had things to do. He was like, I'm going to pair up with Holly Hills in this one. And he did all this stuff. And it was like summer, all summer vibey. Really liked it. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Bye, guys.